Today I'm doing something different. I'm out here on Broad River. That's the Broad River Bridge right there. My goal is to catch a cobia. What I'm using is a Pin Battle 6000 with a, this is like 200 pound mono leader, a big circle hook with a six ounce egg sinker. And this is 65 pound braided line. On this, I'm gonna throw a, a chunk of cut mullet on bottom. And then with another smaller setup, I'm gonna try to catch a live bait and throw and float that out on a popping cork. And we'll just see how that goes. So my original plan is to anchor up by the bridge in probably like 30 feet of water. I brought like a five pound anchor, but I really have no idea how well that's gonna hold. So basically I really don't actually know what I'm doing. This is just, this is my first time uh, targeting Cobia on a kayak. And I, I've never caught a cobia at all. There's also supposed to be a Spanish mackerel out here running. So I brought a gold spoon just in case. So here we are. This is the Broad River Bridge. A lot of boats around. Just gonna find a spot and see if I can anchor up. Alright, so it looks like my anchor is holding. Now I'm just gonna throw some bait out. I just saw a Spanish mackerel jump right in front of me. I got the gold spoon I'm gonna throw. I mean, it was like right here. Right here it is, a nice chunk of mullet. Okay, I'm just putting pieces of shrimp on a double hook bottom rig and I'm gonna try to catch a live bait. Well, I knew this wasn't gonna be easy. My anchor line is no longer holding at all. All right, I'm gonna try to anchor up again. Well, I don't want to speak too soon, but I think my anchor is holding right now. I, mean, I dropped it down over all the way on the other side of the bridge. And it just now finally got stuck. So I'll wait like a minute and then throw my lines back out. Yeah, I'm getting a bite on my big rod. I'm really afraid it's gonna be a shark, honestly. We'll see, I guess. Of course, now I think my anchor is not holding anymore. Thankfully it's not too big, I can actually handle it. Only problem is I'm just gonna keep drifting forever. So my anchor is not holding anymore. So I 
really want to get this off the hook as soon as I possibly can so that I can get repositioned. This is where these shark hook removers really come in handy because I would not be getting anywhere close to getting this hook out if I didn't have one. And there it is. If you do any shark fishing or even catch sharks by accident, I really suggest you get a pair of these. Really just amazing tool for dealing with sharks and getting the hook out so if you're interested in getting a pair of these i'll have a link down in the description of this video all right we got a bite it's probably a shark just the way it was biting it was just nibbling at it got off Thankfully, honestly, I don't want to deal with another shark. I might have a, a live bait on here. Hard to tell with the current, but I was definitely getting a, a hit. Only really gonna even know if it's on here until I get it up. Yep. Oh. This is a tiny little black tip shark, I'm assuming. I really thought it was a whiting when I first saw it. The wake of this boat might move my anchor too. Oh yeah, I'm definitely moving anyways. Gonna unhook this little shark and then figure out what I'm doing with my anchor. is holding it's honestly harder to tell now you can see I'm much I'm much further away from the bridge now I'm gonna throw my bait out see if it stays if you're interested in purchasing uh, a setup like this for sharks cobia tarpon and stuff I'll have uh, links in the description of this video to the reel, the rod, the line, and the hooks, pretty much everything, if you want to check that out. I forgot to mention that first shark that you saw me catch was a uh, Atlantic sharp nose. Uh, it was about three foot. Uh, you're allowed to keep one per person, any size. Well, I don't keep them. So I haven't gotten any bites in a while, so I'm probably gonna reel the poles up, pull the anchor up, and get close to the bridge again. Uh, I think the current is getting a little bit weaker as it gets closer to low tide, so hopefully my anchor can hold up there by the bridge. I can get in the shade because it's 85 degrees out today and there's no wind. Well, the current is definitely still pretty strong because I can just barely move trying to get up here to this bridge. Well, I'm not exactly where I wanted to be, but it looks like my anchor is holding for now. I'm gonna throw out some bait, see what happens. 
So it's been a while and I've just been having a lot of trouble anchoring up. Uh, I'm gonna keep going to the bridge and either try to anchor again or try to tie off somewhere if possible. Okay, I just spent like an hour trying to anchor up and I still don't even know if my anchor is holding right now. So I ran out of mullet. Now I'm using squid. Pretty much everything eats squid. Okay, I got something on the squid. Just gotta hope it's not a shark. But it's kind of fighting like a shark. Yeah, of course. Yeah, it's another sharp nosed Atlantic. Probably like two and a half feet. So far I haven't been able to catch any live bait and I really think that's messing up my chances to catch a cobia. Well the wind is picking up and the water is starting to get rough so I'm just gonna call it a day. Caught like a few sharks and that's it. No cobia. I wasn't able to catch any live bait either which probably messed up my chances of actually catching a cobia. Spent way too much time trying to anchor up and stuff. The anchor I have just is not strong enough for this kind of fishing. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching.